All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Roy Blue Effects. In today's video, we're gonna talk about and discuss what a swing high and a swing low is. You're gonna learn how to trade these correctly in the market. Sometimes structure can get a little out of hand and we don't know what structure is telling us exactly and we can't identify structure correctly. So with this method, with the swing high and the swing lows, we're gonna show you how to identify structure and especially how to identify your range with the swing high and the swing low. And if you're not a member of Roy Blue Effects, where have you been? Go ahead right now at RoyBlueEffects.com to start learning how to trade today. So let's get on with the video. Gentlemen, the king. All right, so swing highs and swing lows. So what are they and how do we trade them? So what uh, what I'm going to show you right here is uh, very interesting. Okay, there's a lot of mixed information out there about um, what swing highs, and, uh, swing highs and swing lows are, excuse me. And uh, I'm here to clarify it with you to see uh, for you guys to see what it looks like, okay? So what a swing low and swing high look like to me is essentially this. When prices are going bearish, like this, all right? Prices give us a chalk, like that. All right, a swing low has to take out liquidity, okay? So that's our swing low. Then a swing high would look something relatively the same, like the swing low, like this, okay? That would be our swing high. Now, let me explain, all right? So uh, what's happening here is in order for me to confirm what a swing high and a swing low look like, they have to take out liquidity. That's true, right? That's number one. Okay. The second thing that needs to confirm a swing high and a swing low is the chalk. Okay. There's a chalk right there. Okay. We all know when price reaches a demand zone, let's just say something like this, right? Let's just say that was our demand zone and price came uh, retraced all the way to the demand zone. That would be a chalk. Okay. Forming like that. Okay. Same, same thing goes for our supply zone. When price reaches that supply, right? We'll have a uh, price giving us a chalk from that high here, right? And then breaking, uh, breaking the chalk like this. Okay. So this will form a chalk, okay? So what's happening in here is price is actually, there's a little bit of structure, sort of something like this, okay? Structure is just like this. And it's usually normally like small structure, okay? Um, and what I see a uh, swing high and a swing low to be is essentially this, okay? So when a swing high and a swing low create, this is my range. I confirm this low and this high is my range, okay? What that means is, I'm looking to trade if I'm bullish here, right? Let's just say prices are bullish and we've broken a chalk like this, right? Or actually it's this. Um, we're actually coming bullish from this low all the way down here. Okay, so let's just pretend this is a, a low and a high and then another low and then another high like this, okay? Um, we have created a chalk, okay? So this confirms my range and that means I'm only allowed to trade within the range, okay? This is how I know when buy uh, when buys and sells are happening in the range, okay? So um, let's just say, again, we have a chalk here, right? And then what I'm gonna look for in this area, let's just say price is at the supply now, right? And we have made a chalk here. What I'm gonna look for is to see if price can reach um, my order block all the way down here, right? So I know that if I'm bullish, my low is here, my high is here, I'm gonna look for buys, right? That's easy to that's easy to understand, right? So what I'm typically gonna be, what typically happens in actually in a range is a lot of um, liquidity, right? A lot of, a lot of liquidity uh, creation, a lot of uh, manipulation, whatever you wanna call it, all right? So let's just see, let's just say this, in, for example, when the range creates like this, all right? I look for, uh, you know, inducement, liquidity, right, for prices to give me that chalk and then to continue bearish, okay? And sometimes prices just don't uh, mitigate or at least price, price just break and then they just continue, sh uh, you know, pushing bearish like this or what have you and then, you know, taking out all this internal liquidity, right? They take out all this internal liquidity, right, and they go after your uh, low or potentially go all the way back up like this, right? Taking out the inducement, taking out all the liquidity, mitigating and going all the way back down to take out more liquidity and mitigate your order block and only to find out that price is actually is bullish like this, right? So what I'm trying to show you is in order to get effective uh, trading or effective setups in the market, right? You need to be looking at your range low and range high or your swing swing lows and swing highs, okay? And this is going to help you immensely in, the, in your trading, all right? So what I'm gonna do is show you guys um, 
how to find this on the on the live chart and uh so you guys can uh you guys can take this and, uh, and use it on your own trading. Okay, so here I'm on a live chart example. I'm going to go all the way back here uh, and start uh, mapping out the uh, swing highs and swing lows for you guys so you guys can understand, okay? I'm here on the four-hour chart, so um, we're going to start on the higher time frame. All right, so let's start from let's just start from uh, substructure and minor structure. Okay, so uh, right over here, we can see here that this is the highest point, right? Okay, and price is going bearish here. So this would be something easier for you guys to see and understand, okay? So right over here, you can see that um, right over here at this high, this would be considered our swing high, okay? And the reason why is because uh, price has taken out liquidity right here, okay? And that would be our swing high, and this would be our swing low right over there, okay? And the reason why, again, I want to stress this out, is because prices have taken out liquidity. And in order to understand... Um, in, in order to understand uh, how price is taken out liquidity is to understand um, the internal structure. You can see this over here. When, there was, when, when this high was created over here, prices went bearish, then they went bullish, right? Sweeping out the liquidity, okay? All this in here is that liquidity, right? Price then taken out the inducement, okay? And so this here will symbolize as our next swing high, okay? So a swing high has to take out liquidity. Otherwise, if it doesn't take out the liquidity, it may be looking something like, you know, sometimes uh, a lot of traders mark out something like this as structure, right? Like here and here and here. They'll mark out these as the high, you know, or this is the high over here. And then, uh, you know, some, you know, and that's just incorrect, right? Because in the long term or the long run, excuse me, um, the market will come over and take out all this and then uh, take all that as liquidity and then mitigate and, you know, push bearish or something like that. But let's continue. I just want to show you guys how this looks, okay? So right over here, and the reason why we call this a swing low is because if you zoom out here, you can see over here the low, okay, the low that was taken is liquidity, okay? Also, we have uh, a chalk right over here. So not only is the low taken, okay, we also have a chalk formation right here, all right? The low has to be broken first, and the high has to be broken second. All right, so this confirms our range. And then from this high, okay, you can see that we had a chalk as well from this high to this low. So that is also our um, <clears throat> range, okay, of the beginning of our range, high to low, right? So we know now that when prices are retracing, that we're looking anywhere in here to trade, all right, to sell. All right, if you put take your Fibonacci's, you can obviously see how prices... Um, behaving in here you can see that prices is in, in the premium in the premium over here okay um, I'm not gonna show you guys how to enter or anything here I'm just trying to simply show you the ranges obviously uh, let's go over here um, right over here we had a break of structure so that would be the inducement right right there so right here this is your inducement everything else in here is liquidity okay so now we know that this would be our swing point here all right, once the swing point is created, you can see that we do have a confirmed chalk from this high, right, and this low, okay? So that's our con con uh, confirmed swing high. Now what we need to be doing is looking for a swing low, all right? And again, it's really, uh, it's really important that you look for your swing low so you know your range. You know what high to what low you're trading to, right, or from what low and what high you're trading to. All right, so <clears throat> down here, you can see that prices did take out uh, liquidity right there you can see that we do have a confirmed chalk as well right here so now we know that we can be uh, uh, excuse me right there <laughs> right there okay so now we know that we have this high and this low as a confirmed range okay only simply because price has taken out liquidity from the highs and from the lows and it has also given us a chalk okay from the highs and from the lows right there so this would be considered as our other uh, swing low okay so let's continue all right <clears throat> so where's our next swing high all right I'm gonna give you guys a sec or a few seconds here just to sh uh, just to think about where the next swing high is okay all right if you guys haven't uh, found out yet then I'm gonna show you guys right now all right the next swing high is literally right over here okay it's actually right there and I'll show you why okay right here all the liquidity oopsie all the liquidity and the inducement has been taken right there okay so all this is everything under here is liquidity prices have gone up right then have gone bearish 
you can see we had a confirmed break of structure right here. So we had a clean chalk right there. All right, that would be the chalk. Chalk. Okay, and now what we're looking for is for the for the uh, swing low. Swing low would be right over here. All right, and, and take a wild guess why this is our swing low. Okay, take a wild guess. All right, so if you guys haven't guessed already, you know we have taken liquidity right there. Okay, that's uh, that's our liquidity, right? It's also a chalk as well, right there. Okay, and now you understand that whenever you're looking to trade, you're looking from this high to this low. That would be your trading range. Okay, just as pure gold, right here, you can see price goes up, right, takes all the liquidity right there, and then pushes bearish. Okay, so I this is something that I feel like you guys will never um, will never get yourself confused whenever you're looking at uh, your swing highs and swing lows because they help so immensely in the in trading, right? You don't have to try and guess, well, is this my low, is this my high, or is this my high, is this my low, and I don't know what I'm looking at, right? Always look at price taking out liquidity, okay? And the reason for this is because when the liquidity is taken, take a wild guess why price is, uh, take a wild guess actually why price is actually coming back to our area where price is taking out liquidity. Okay, take a wild guess. If you can't guess, I'll let you know right now. But the reason why it's taking, why price is going back up to that area where price is taking out uh, the liquidity, right, to our swing high, is because there was the last order block printed in here. Okay, the last order block was printed up here. Okay, if you think about it, when, ta oh, when price takes out the liquidity and then shoots bearish like this, you can see that prices have not come up to an uh, to the area of uh, supply, right? They just gone. They've uh, uh, ranged here for a little bit and then dropped, right? So our our um, the be the benefit to this is to really understand the, sort of the uh, psychology behind and the mechanical work of uh, of uh, of structure, right? Is to understand why price is doing what it's doing, right? Why the low, for example, like this low, has gone up, broken a high, right? And now prices have gone bearish, right? You can see when liquidity is taken, this is actually liquidity, even though it's a chalk, it's still liquidity, right, in my eyes, and taken out the inducement and then mitigated an order block right over here and then has uh, gone bearish very fast, okay? So let's go back here, okay? This will be our swing high because it has taken that liquidity. So we know that this is our last point of liquidity right over here, okay? There we go. So we have a, a high broken, okay, and then we have a low broken right here. So this would be our chalk. So we have a confirmed range, a confirmed high specifically, okay. Let's look at for let's look for our uh, excuse me. Let's look for our uh, confirmed range low. When prices are going bearish, notice that no low has broken a high yet, right? So we can't confirm that this is our new range low right over here, right? Price is going up, right? Price is going back bearish. No other highs have been broken yet. So the way that we know is when prices are breaking the range like this, when price goes up and then shoots bullish like this, okay? This confirms our range low, which would start from here now, okay? You can see that we had a high here. There's liquidity that was taken right there. And uh, we also had a chalk like that. All right, so you're looking from this high to this low to sell. It's very simple, guys, right? If you guys see this, it's very, very simple to understand, right? Your uh, job next after this, obviously, is to find your liquidity and your inducements and, uh, you know, imbalance and all that good stuff and then to look to trade uh, trade, uh, trade this, right? So let's look again, all right? I know I'm showing you guys a lot of, a lot of bearish examples, but, you know, take into account that you can do also this on a bullish example, obviously, because everything in the market is uh, fractal, uh, watch this. We go up, right? Notice that prices, uh, this this low here went so high, taking out all this liquidity. So once liquidity has been taken, this is our new high, okay? Right here, you can see that the chalk has, uh, has been made right there, right? Then you have your entry, right? Sell it off over there. But we won't sell it off right away, or you could actually from this high, obviously, uh, because this is internal structure. But I want to show you guys your range low, okay? Again, your range low needs to break uh, uh, the previous high, okay? And that high would be an internal structure, internal liquidity structure.
Okay, notice over here we had a chalk right here and here, so this confirms the break of structure. Even before all this created, I can or we can already tell, or I can already tell, that um, this would be our new swing low from here, right over here. Okay, so this would be our new swing low, swing high to swing low, right there. And once this chalk has been made, then now I can I know I can look to counter trade. I can look to buy um, towards uh, I can buy the retracement right towards the correct order block um, or correct uh, supply zone. Okay, so range high, range low, and you can see. Evidently, again, we have taken out liquidity right there, right? Right there. All right, we have taken liquidity uh, all from here. This is, ju this is just our chalk, obviously, but the liquidity uh, area, the last point of liquidity is actually right there. So that would be our um, our liquidity high there, right? So t price take liquidity, dumps, right? Then prices take more liquidity from the lows, which is bullish, right? Something like that. And then, uh, very very simple, very easy again, right? We start to readjust and remap our structure. Where is that swing point, right? Very easy, right there, right? Only because prices have taken uh, that liquidity like this, all right? So I hope you guys are starting to get used to this, uh, the uh, repetitive sort of example that I've been showing you guys, how to identify your highs and lows, because uh, especially your swing highs and swing lows, okay? These will help you immensely in your range, okay? To understand what point, what uh, high point and what uh, low point you'll be able to buy and sell from, okay? Um, so this would rather be probably my last example here, but there's your high right there. Liquidity was taken right over here. And then uh, to understand our range low, we need to see where prices have given us a chalk, right? So here is your... Um, liquidity that was taken right there and here is your chalk okay so we know that this is our last point of uh, the range right so we have a high and a low and we're looking simply to be trading from here right anywhere from wherever you see the liquidity and the inducement right there's your Fibonacci right prices go above the 50 sell from the premium and bingo right it's not as I'm not saying that you know trading is easy because it never is obviously and obviously this is a perfect alignment honestly to show you guys I, I really wanted to show you guys how this works so I didn't have to confuse you guys on con, you know the other confusing structure and so forth and so on but um, in any case I hope you guys kind of understood or at least uh, uh, this video helps you guys a little bit um, because I will tell you this much. This has helped me a lot when I first started out trading and learning um, the uh, swing highs and swing lows. So until then, guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the, uh, uh, you know, down there in the comment section below. Let me t tell me if you guys uh, need any more help on whatever other subjects you guys may need. And uh, tell me if this uh, video was actually helpful. If it was, throw a huge thumbs up. If not, you know, do let me know what's going on. And if you guys uh, haven't uh, really understood the swing highs and swing high, uh, swing lows and swing highs. And if I should probably do another video. Until then, guys, I will see you in the next.